Okay, uh, can you just break down really quickly what, what happened? Yeah, you know, so, uh, shortly after 6 a.m. this morning, we get notified that there's an ammonia leak at CF Industry, which is located in Donaldsonville. So you, you, we take the appropriate precautions. Uh, we sent out our hazmat team to work with the CF's uh, emergency response team, and it turns out to be that there was an uh, ammonia leak there, uh, one that was small. But, we, but when you go through these things, it's important to follow the, the right protocols and the right procedures. So we made a decision to move it to a level two, block our roads, and do a shelter in place in the direction that the wind was blowing this morning. So the whole entire area did not have to be sheltered, but we did have a school in, in line of sight, right? So we sheltered that school and the kids that were there, uh, we moved them to another school. Uh, it was early enough to where there wasn't many students there, but there were some. Uh, so we was able to do that, and we was able to send out our teams, and CF was able to send out their teams to do air monitoring around the community, and those numbers were very encouraging, very low numbers. So just once again, as a, a public safety precaution, we wanted to make sure that our community was safe, and when you have big industry like that in Ascension Parish, it's, it's really important to have that uh, collaboration on working together to try to resolve any issues that we have. Myself and our team on the public safety side and their technical folks on what's going on inside that plant. And I'll have to say uh, some good news is it's a baby blue sky and the wind's blowing and so that will dissipate anything that's leaking. I do understand it's been contained. I know they know exactly where it's at and I'm hoping we're going to get the all clear within the next uh, probably 30 minutes to maybe an hour. I don't know but I think that's, that's going to happen fairly soon. And when that does, we'll open up all the roads and we'll go back to normal operations and then you do an after action report. Okay, what, what, what happened, what went well, what didn't, and then you, uh, then, then you build from there. But understanding that you do these things by levels. It's a, an alert, a level one, level two, and each level you add more precautions to what you're doing. So, but fortunately this morning we didn't have to move it anything where uh, maybe a level two, and uh, that's roadblocks, that's uh, sheltering in place in, in the direction of the wind. So things went very well this morning, and I'm confident that our community's safe. It would, uh, every what could happen? You know, like why? Why what, is this something that we keep an eye on, uh, and monitor? Yeah. So we live in, in the industrial cor corridor. So there, there's there's things out there that I, I got to be honest with you. I don't know a, a lot about, and maybe you don't either, right? So what you do is you rely on uh, subject matter experts like the people on our hazardous material team, industries uh, response team, to say what is the worst case scenario in these things. So you take the worst case scenario and then you level it out. Okay, what's happening at this moment? And, and what, is our, what should our response be, the appropriate response? There's other things you can do. You can shelter in place. You tell people to turn off the air conditions, turn off your heaters. If you have to evacuate, you evacuate to a, a safe location, and you, you do that under the, uh, the escort of, of law enforcement. Uh, so there's that level of increase that you do when situations go from, uh, I would say, a moderate to, to a severe uh, situation. This one was, this one was I, I consider this very light. We, although we, we brought it to a level two, we did that out of precautionary measures just to make sure that everything was safe and everything was good. And it was early enough in the morning to where we didn't have a, uh, a school full of kids that we had to evacuate. We had to evacuate some, obviously. And it was important that I was on site. So I was at CF. I was talking with the, the plant managers and the uh, uh, his staff there to see, okay, exactly what's going on and what's happening, what I should response should be. And it's not the Central Parish Sheriff's Office alone. It's CF. It's going to be the state police. It's going to be Office of Emergency Preparedness. It's going to be everybody working together to try to figure out what happened, how can we mitigate it, and what's the best course of action to take while this thing is ongoing. Do we know what happened? No. I, I know the CF people know what happened. It's too technical for me to say, and I do know CF uh, did a press release, so maybe their press release has a little more information on the technical side that I can answer, and that's what I said earlier when you go back and you do an after action, okay, what happened, what went wrong, uh, could, could the response have been better, uh, and, and you just, and that's important for training uh, anyway, so you just do those type of things and you work it, you work it together and, and figure those things out. So exactly what happened, I don't have the technical expertise to tell you uh, what's going on in some of those uh, facilities. And as of right now, no one's been in? No injuries on site, no injuries in the community. Another great uh, uh, report. Thank you for asking about that. And I suspect that within uh, hopefully a short period of time we'll, we'll have everything uh, open again and we'll, we'll, we'll lift the, uh, the roadblock. Good news is the traffic is still flowing. There's still a way to get to Donaldsonville. We have the river road shut down and we have the main road 3089 going into Donaldsonville shut down, but you can still go down Highway 70 to 308 and the people who live in that area know how to get around and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll lift that very soon. Is this something that has happened frequently? 
Oh, no, this, this does not happen frequently. Not, uh, we certainly do. There's 33 large industries uh, in Ascension Parish, and we are, we are fortunate to have them. And, but these things sometimes will happen. Uh, those are some uh, Fortune 500 companies, and, and they, they produce a lot of material. So uh, it can happen. Uh, we just seen a situation in St. James where a chemical uh, train derailed, right? So you better be ready for those type things. That's why many, many years ago we put together a robust hazardous material team in the Ascension Parish Sheriff's Office that's made up by industry leaders and people who work in industry. So at CF, one of the subject matter experts there is on our team. So that's the kind of cooperation that you need. So when you go there, you know what's going on, you know how to respond, and you know how to make these things happen. And I will tell you, we've been doing that now for 35, 40 years. Uh, because we do, and we are again fortunate to have a, a robust industrial corridor right here in Ascension Parish. Is there anything I didn't ask that you'd like to share? I don't know, Donovan. I, I kind of rambled. Yeah, I think yeah. Yeah. Good. We got the nuts yeah, and bolts. The, the, yeah, the big thing is we're fortunate. I mean, we are uh, fortunate that, yeah, we think it's contained. But